Good day everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's lesson will be on word problems and our main focus will be on sum and difference, product, sums and differences combined with products and word problems involving fractions, changing numerical expressions into words, problems involving equations. Our examples today will help us understand the concept of word problems. So let's move to our examples. Alright, for example one we have, what is the sum of 7, 8 and 15? The sum of 7, that means we are going to add 7, 8 and 15. 7 plus 8 plus 15, that will give us 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 15, that is equals to 30. For the second part of the equation we have, the sum of 3 consecutive whole numbers is 108 find the numbers. So let the first number, since there are three consecutive numbers, so let the first number be x. Then the second consecutive number will be x plus 1. And the last, the third consecutive number will be x plus 2. So the question now says that the sum of three consecutive numbers is three consecutive whole numbers is 108. So we have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is equals to 108. So I'll open the brackets. So I have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals to 108. So I'll group the terms so x plus x plus x plus 1 plus 2 equals to 108 so x plus x plus x will give us 3x 1 plus 2 is 3 equals to 108 so I'll collect like terms so 3x equals to 108 minus 3 so 3x is equals to 108 minus 3 is 105. I will divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 3. So 3x over 3, 105 over 3. So x equals to 3 goes into 10, that's 3 times from the 1, 3 goes into 15, that is 5 times. So x equals to 5 times. x equals to, sorry, 35. So to prove our answer, if it's correct, we have for x equals to 35. For the second term, we have x plus 1 is 35 plus 1, which is 36. So x plus 2 is equals to 35 plus 2, which is 37. So we add 35 plus 36 plus 37. Our answer will be 108. And as you see, the numbers here are conservative numbers. Okay, for example 2, the product of two numbers is 63. If one of the numbers is 7, find the other number. So let the other number be y. So since there are two numbers, the product of two numbers, and one of it is 7. So half y times 7 is equal to 63. So in this case, y times 7 will give me 7y equals to 63. I'll divide both sides by 7. 63 divided by 7. So y equals to 9. Alright, next one we have find the product of 5 and the positive difference between 11 and 26. So the product of 5, first, first of all, we have to calculate the positive difference between 11 and 26. So the positive difference between 11 and 26 means 26 divided minus 11. Because if we use minus 11 minus 26, it will give us a negative difference. So 26 minus 11 minus 11, 5. So 26 minus 11 will give us 15. The question says we should find the product of 
5 and the positive difference. So now we have gotten the positive difference will be 15. So we have 5 times 15. So times 5. 5 times 1 is 5 plus the 2 give us 75. So 5 times 15 is 75. Okay, for example, 4. The first part says find the product of 5 over 7 and the sum of 3 over 5 and 1 over 3. 1 over 3. So I will find the sum of 3 over 4 and 1 over 3 first. So 3 over 4, 3 over 5 and 1 over 3 means plus 1 over 3. So the LCM of 5 and 3 is 15. So 15 goes into 5, that's 3 times. 3 times 3 give us 9. So 3 goes into 15, that's 5. 5 times 1 is 5. So this will give us 9 plus 5 will give us 14 over 15. But the question says we should find the product of 5 over 7 and the sum. So we are writing the sum to be 14 over 15. So to find the product, that will give us 5 over 7 times 14 over 15. So 7 goes into itself, 1 goes into 14, that's 2 times. 5 goes into itself, 1 goes into 15, that's 3 times. So our answer will be 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3. So the next one says, divide 42 by the product of minus 8 and 1 whole number, 1 over 2 divide 42 by the product so first of all we have to calculate the product of minus 8 and minus 1 whole number 1 over 2 so product minus 8 times 1 whole number minus 1 whole number 1 over 2 so i need to convert this to a, an improper fraction so i have minus 8 times minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. So we know that minus times minus will give us plus. So we have 8 times 3 over 2. So 2 goes into itself, 1 goes into 8, that's 4. So we have 4 times 3 will give us 12. The question says we should divide 42 by the product. So we have divide. 42 by 12. So we have 42 divided by 12. So let's use 2 to divide both sides. So 2 goes in here 2 times 2 goes in here 1. So 2 goes in here 6 times. So you can actually use 3 also in this case now. So 3 goes in to 6. That will give us 2 times, then 3 goes into 21, that is 7. So our answer will be 7 over 22, but we can simplify this to 3 whole number 1 over 2. Alright, for example 5, translate each of the following into what? 42 plus 68. So 42 plus 68 is the sum of 42 and 68 then the next one we have for 67 minus 8 67 minus 8 this will this is the positive difference between 67 and 8. The reason why we have positive difference is because the number that comes first is greater than the one that comes after it. Okay, for our final example, when 1 is subtracted from 3 times a certain number and then divided by 5, the result is the same as 1 
is added to the number what is the number when one is subtracted from three times a certain number so let the number in the first place number be x so one is subtracted from three times a certain number so now we have to multiply the number by three three times the x which should give us three x so the question is telling us that one is subtracted from three times the number so we have three x minus one okay and then divided by five so we have three x minus one divided by five the result is the same as that means the result is the same as one is added to the number one is added to the number the number we had was x so one is added to x so what is the number so in this case now you can actually write this as x plus one over one so in this case now we can cross multiply so this this multiplies this this and multiplies this so we have one in bracket three x minus one equals to five in bracket x plus one so this will open the bracket then number multiplied by one is anything so i need to just bring this down so three x minus one equals to five times x is five x five times one is five so i'll collect like terms in this case so i have three x minus five x equals to five plus one so three x minus 5x will give us minus 2x equals to 5 plus 1 will give us 6. So in this case, I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient of the unknown, which is minus 2. So I have minus 2x divided by 2, divided, divided by minus 2, sorry, is equals to 6 divided by minus 2. So the minus sign cancels the minus sign, 2 cancels 2. So I'll be left with x equals to 6 divided by minus 2 so plus divided by minus is minus 6 divided by 2 is 3 so x equals to minus 3 all right we've come to the end of our exciting lesson on world problems i hope you learned a lot please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting mathematics videos thank you